Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. This is part of our hike intercom training and today we'll be adding another indoor station. Right, what have we got here? I've got a, a standard outdoor station, a standard indoor station and a second indoor station. We'll call it a sub indoor station. I've currently given them all IP addresses, 101, 102 and 201 for the outdoor station. I just need to add them to IVMS. I'll start with the outdoor station. I'm just going to add it. I'm going to call it outdoor station. Uh, I'm going to synchronize the time, put our username and password in. I'm just going to add it. I've already set these IPs up by the way, so uh, if you missed that in previous videos then you need to catch up right so we'll add the first indoor station and again synchronize the time username and password add it now what we'll do first is we'll just link these two up um because currently they don't work i'll just press it and see what happens calling failed there we go, we need to set this one up first. Let's have a go. We need to add the indoor to the outdoor station. So let's go on to the outdoor station, click on the cog. Wait for it to load. Go down to device management. And we need to add an indoor station. Of course, we need to give it our passwords and stuff. And our registration passwords, all important one. Keep these the same, it does help. The serial number, uh, as we've described before, is either written on the back, or as in my case, I've got a note of it. So let's get a hold of that. And you'll also find it as part of the serial number up down up here. So it ends in 25 and starts with a Q. Um, and there you go. And of course, we need to enter the IP address of this new indoor station. One dot one oh one and our all important subnet. And the gateway. This is device number one. Bingo. Everything looks okay. Save succeeded. As I said before, we maximize it says it's unreachable. So let's go and fix that by going into the indoor station. Wait for it to load. Go down to network, group network settings, and put in our registration password that we entered previously. Click save. Everything looks okay. Quick double check. Back into the outdoor station. We've done this in previous videos. Go down to device management, a little maximize, everything's online. It should work as a standalone unit. There we go. Right, uh, what do we do now? Well, we're going to add this second one now, which is our new, our second indoor station which is up here, it's going to click on it, go on to call it a sub indoor station. There we go. Make sure the user and password are correct. Our IP address is correct, blah, blah, blah. Away we go. So now what do we do? Right, first thing we have to do is we have to tell the indoor station it's a substation. So we'll click on the cog. Wait for it to load, go down to network, group network settings, and tell it we are an indoor extension. Give it a nice new number one, because it's the first one, and we can press save on that. So the new indoor extension has been told it is, and then we have to go into the first indoor station and add it. Click on the cog, wait for it to load. 
go down to intercom, go down to extension settings and add this extension. There it goes, indoor extension. It's the only option we've got. We have to put in a serial number. You can't paste it in, you have to type it in. So let's just get that up. As I said, you should have a note of these already, but it's the new, this is the, the new extension. Right, so I'll put the serial number in, 309, and the, the nice IP address of this new station. Uh, 102, and don't forget, it's the wrong way around now, it's the gateway. And now the subnet. And of course, our password. And its number. Click save. Everything should be set. It says unregistered. Uh, we have to fix that, of course. Um, even a little refresh won't help. So we have to go back into the, the new substation. Over to network, group network settings. Registration password in here. Again, it's recommended you keep these all the same so you know what they are. And we need to put the main indoor station. 192.168.1.101. Everything should be dandy. Um, click save. And if we want to go back and check the main indoor station. Back into intercom, back into extension. It says registered. Should be no reason why this doesn't work. Let's see if we can test it. Right, here we go. Success. It's calling both stations. Excellent news. All job done.